It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. We got some Kim Kardashian, Lily Reinhardt, and some Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. Uh, we're going to first start it off with uh, Lily Reinhardt. Now, Lily Reinhardt made some um, comments about Kim Kardashian after uh, Kim Kardashian let it be known that she had to lose 16 pounds to get into the dress that you know that she wore for the Met Gala, the old Marilyn Monroe "Happy Birthday, Mr. President" dress, and that sent a, 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 a I guess a uh, offended Lily Reinhardt, and she says called Kim Kardashian's comments ignorance over promoting the Met Gala crash diet. She said it's disgusting. Um, getting to this article from BuzzFeed, Lily Reinhardt didn't attend the Met Gala this year, but she still kept up with the news surrounding Monday's night's red carpet, and she did not like what she saw, specifically Kim Kardashian's damaging comments about crash dieting ahead of the event. Kim revealed that she lost 16 pounds in three weeks, in order to fit into Marilyn Monroe's dress that the icon wore for JFK's 1962 birthday party. I'm starving, Kim later said after the Met Gala, while showing off the donuts and pizza waiting for in the room. Okay, Obviously, Kim's comments drew a lot of rightful backlash, rightful backlash, and sparked conversation about how physically and psychologically dangerous it is to promote extreme diets. Something so toxic and textbook unhealthy, and Lily agrees with that criticism. All right, let me stop right there. First of all, Kim Kardashian is not telling anyone to go out there and do a crash diet. She's telling people what she had to go through in order to get into that dress. If you are not trying to get into Marilyn Monroe's dress from 1962, then don't worry about it. You know, it's, it's ridiculous the times we're living in. I'm so tired of everybody with this fake outrage. You know, Lily Reinhardt, you obviously just wanted to be on the map. And you wanted people to be talking about you because you didn't attend the Met Gala. And then you saw how popping it was. So now you have to make some sort of, of, of comment. What Kim Kardashian uh, did had nothing to do with everybody else. She's not out there saying, that's right, guys, go out there and get that crash diet. Oh, to openly admit to starving yourself for the sake of the Met Gala, when you know very well that millions of young men and women are looking up to you and listening to your every word? I mean, stop it. Now, these people have to get over, we have to get over ourselves, man. Every single thing offends somebody. Then, of course, once she started getting backlash from Kardashian fans, she tried to come back and say, uh, let me clarify my comment. Sigh. I do not say things. She starts off her comments like this, so we know that she does. I do not say things to, that I say because I want to be relevant or get attention. I speak up because I don't see enough people with large platforms calling out toxic behavior in our industry. Some people will never understand where I'm coming from, and that's okay. Yeah, some people will not understand where you're coming from. I, I know where you're coming from. You were looking for clout. Sit down, Lily. Moving on. It looks like congratulations is in order for Eminem, a.k.a. Marshall Mathers, a.k.a. Slim Shady, uh, a.k.a. Rain Man. <laughs> It looks as though he will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I saw uh, LL Cool J send out congratulations. And congratulations definitely in order for Eminem. I want to know in the comments, do you think Eminem is the GOAT or at least one of the GOATs? Is he a top five MC of all time in your opinion? Congratulations to Eminem. And we go from... Possibly the GOAT to the current GOAT of this generation, Drizzy Drake. Now, Drake, <laughs> just being Drake, was out there and 
he hopped in a troll's. He got a troll back by hopping in his uh, woman's DM. <laughs> That's some Drake stuff. So let's see here. There was a troll. Drake was on was was tweeting, and it looks as though he said something about basketball player John Morant. I believe his tweet was imagine. You know, uh, waking up. He said, imagine your son makes the league and he's Ja or Melo or Lonzo. All you can do is be elated and competitive and it's right of passage to that OG talk S. I know I'm going to be this way even if my son is in the Rubik's Cube competition. Right? And then someone says, Oh, this this is crazy because he's literally done nothing but be a supportive father on the sidelines, giving props to his son and all his son's opponents. <clears throat> because someone said T. Morant is approaching LeVar Ball level of annoyance. So after uh, Drake said that, here comes a uh, troll. Your son probably played with Ghost Riders. And then Drake came back as a person and said, I just followed your girl because she's probably miserable and needs some excitement in her life. So, that, so then later on, I guess the person posted DM. He goes, oh, nah, fool really DM'd my wife. And it says, I'm here for you, ma. <laughs> uh, this guy sitting here laughing, you know, good and damn well. That wife, but he probably like, you better not uh, respond back to him. She gonna probably act like she ain't responding back to him. Go responding back to Drake later on. <laughs> uh, Drake is crazy. Moving on, AJ is still trending. Like every blog has now picked up this story. So Ray J, you know, we we commented on it prior. Basically saying this has always been a deal and a partnership between Chris Jenner and Kim and me. Ray J went on to say well, he sat back and watched the Kardashians build a empire off of his off of a lie. He said that um, we let people think that the sex tape was leaked and I was the uh, the one who leaked it and Kim got to play victim all these years and they build an empire off of me being the bad guy. Well, let me stop you there. Hold on a minute, Ray J. Because that's not true. Um, there are plenty of people who was saying that Chris Jenner leaked this sex tape, you know, all th this whole entire time. Go check out Choke No Joke when he had your ex-best friend on. And and Choke said, I was under the impression. Now, you're talking about last year sometime. Choke said, I was under the impression that Chris Jenner leaked the tape. So, Kim Kardashian has not been without, without fingers being pointed at them. They have not had a clear ride where everyone thought, oh, Ray J leaked the tape. Because you got to remember, there was only a couple of people who said you leaked the tape. Your ex-best friend um, and, and Corinne Steffens. They confirmed that you leaked the tape. The guys from, from uh, Stephen Hirsch from Vivid, they said they received the tape anonymously. But they never said that. Then they also said that Kim gave them a phone call. She was very upset and screaming. And she was going to sue them until they convinced her to take a deal. Now, now, are you saying that you was in on all of that? Like the phone call to them was fake, the outrage was fake, and the, the threat of the lawsuit was fake, and, and you, you all got it orchestrated that to to get a, a, a bigger deal struck. But you only got one million dollars, and they got and she got five million. So what are you saying? That was a plan, and what she do? Cut 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 a deal with you later? I mean, it's too many stories, Ray J. Like there's too many stories all over. This this story has been told numerous times. So I don't know whether you're saying that you were in on it from the beginning, that the whole plan of calling, acting like you got a lawyer, because Paris Hilton's lawyer called, called them. 
So was the lawyer in on it too? I mean, listen. Ray J said he was suicidal as he sat back and watched the Kardashians make money all these years. And God only knows what's coming next. Watch Ray J say he's suing the Kardashians. That's going to be next. You watch. Stay tuned. We are going to close it out with Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B now. Cardi B's uh, lead single and album is slated to drop. You know, before June, the single and the album should be out by June, you know, before June is up. And she wants to have a record with Megan Thee Stallion. Now, she already said in the past, and then she just said recently uh, during an interview that she wants another record with Megan. But she saw the success of WAP, and she wants to make sure that she puts Megan on a hit on a number one type of song. She doesn't just want any old song for her and Megan. She said that she definitely wants to work with Megan again, but she wants a number one hit. So from what I've heard, remember the Kanye West song is still out there? I heard she's got a song with Selena Gomez. Um, and if Megan Thee Stallion uh, gets on, um, I'm sure they was going to try to get that on the album because I heard the album has at least three major, major, major collaborations. So we'll see what happens if they do another record together. Are you here for Cardi B and, and, and Megan Thee Stallion making another record? Um, what do you think about the uh, Kim Kardashian and the Ray J situation? You think Ray J is in on this whole thing to make... Them, I mean, he's been lying all this time, according to him, to make the Kardashians a show pop, and then they give him a percentage. What do you think about that stuff? Uh, any comments, please leave below. I appreciate everybody's support. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network.